So on a day of brutal heat, hundreds of high school graduates took part in commencement ceremonies outdoors tonight. KFOX 14 News at 9's Julia Spencer live at El Paso High to tell us how families and graduates tackled the temperatures for the sake of tradition. Julia. Well, after a day of setting up and work crews bracing the heat and graduates wearing layers of clothing, our temperature gun shows that this weather is not letting up anytime soon. As families gather and graduates walk onto the field, El Paso High is fighting the heat as they celebrate memories that last a lifetime. It's a tradition that's been going on since like the 90s and I feel that it's something that shouldn't change regardless of the weather. With triple digit weather and a turf field that's been baking in the sun, some graduates say they can't handle the heat. I'm not too excited about that at all. It looks hot. It looks really hot. Yeah. But they still came dressed to impress. I'm wearing a suit and, uh, and some black t-shirts, so it's really hot out here. But I mean, it's really worth it because it's a big day for us. I was really wondering if I should even put on this suit today, but I came through because I wanted to look good. Yet this graduate didn't come so prepared. I, I need to drink water currently. Yes, I'm not hydrated. Whether you're sitting here in the stadium or here on the field, it's just way too hot out here. And I feel like it's like the hottest day that I've probably experienced so far in the year. But no matter how scorching the temperatures are or how much water you drink, people don't want to break tradition. I just want to say uh, congratulations to all the other graduates and um, thank you for the journey. I guess we have a choice to do it indoors. I would rather keep it the way that it is. Now the sun has set now, but it is still near that 100 degree mark out here. And it, high temperatures are expected to stay high throughout the night. I'm live in Central El Paso, Julia Spencer, KFOX 14 News at 9. All right.